This is about the earliest I think I've had a match start. So thank you guys for not torching here. These guys are on top of it. We'll start this off with Pat here from the side of 29 Esports. Again, if I have the team name switched up somehow, just to let me know, please. Then going to be playing up towards this top middle area. He's not able to spot anyone earlier. We're going to switch this on over here to Manny from Chicago Win. Let's spot one player up towards Ruggs. Not able to spot anything as his teammates pick up all those kills. So that's going to be a quick five down here from 29 Esports. We should be seeing the likes of Chicago Win keep these spawns. Let's see if they can do this here. Doesn't look like they are going to keep those spawns. I believe one player in Orcus is finding those kills out on the rotation. He's on a four in a row here. I wish I could have saw those last two kills. We cite white. White men can't. White men can jump. <laughs> the name. I'm sorry. That's got me tripping. White men can jump. He's on four in a row as well. A 35 and 0 lead here for the side of Chicago Wind early on in this map. We'll be seeing white men can jump out towards. P2 already. He's going to try to find these kills onto these players from 29 Esports. He's in a spot one. He's on five in a row. He gets away with his life as well. That is huge for him. Going to push out towards the back. Sit towards this bathroom. He's going to have one in vodka pushing on in. If he can find the sixth kill, he's going to get a call up from his teammate. It's not going to matter as his teammate in Brutal does pick that up. Everyone on the side of Chicago is frying here early. We're seeing everyone positive by quite a bit outside of Audacity, who's just a one and nobody. He doesn't have to do anything. Teammates are finding all these kills. Orcus finds one. We will be seeing white men can jump finding two more as well. He's on seven in a row here to start this map off. Oh, God. I don't know what that was. We are going to be seeing Manny find his fifth in a row as well. So uh, we do see three of these players from the side of Chicago not dropping yet. Combining for, what was it, 15 in a row before white men can jump. Finally found his first death there after two kills. Seeing the side of Chicago rotate on out towards P3 as well. We're not seeing much of anything here from the side of 29 Esports. Two of their players not even finding a kill yet after two hills. A vodka finding two. We see it. Tequila finding one. And B Wills finding three. Can they find anything else? They need some help from their teammates. Square finally picks up his first here in this map. We're seeing Tequila in that back. He's going to lose that gunfight there on a Brutal who's now 5 and 2. He's set up in the hill. Audacity 6 and 0 on the map. Got 8 and 0 from Manny as well. He's finally going to drop there after finding nine in a row early on in this map. So great stuff here from Chicago to start this off. They eclipsed 100 points already here in map one. We're only, what, partway through this third hill already, and they're absolutely frying here. White men can jump finding three in a row yet again. We're seeing a brutal white man and audacity combined for 13 in a row. White man does finally drop yet again there. He's 12-3 and three to start this map off. We have the Audacity 7 in a row here on this map. A minute and 40 to his name as well. He's just doing it all here early on. A brutal 7 and 2. He's on 3 in a row. We will be seeing Manny at 10 and 11. He's found 1 in a row. Audacity has 1 right behind him. No, he actually did find that kill there on the Vodka. We will be seeing the Chicago Eclipse 150 points. Audacity finds that kill out towards back construction. Not able to find that second as Tequila does trade him on out. Again, this is a solid start here from Chicago. Only giving up 25 points here after three hills. And we're only 20, what, 15 seconds actually into P4. These guys are absolutely frying. Should be seeing a white man can jump, get back on into this hill here shortly. Audacity does pick up that kill. We should be seeing it. these guys get this hill time here as they do slide on in. Could we see this game end on first rotation? I don't know. We don't. It could be close that they find all this time here on P4 and P5. White man's going to drop there. Manny finds one. Great. St Yo, by the way, white man has a Cronus. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but okay. I do see it. Manny, 13 and 1 here on the map. He's on 4 in a row. Orcus on 2 in a row, 15 and 7. White man, 16 and 4 here on this map. Seeing Orcus find another kill. He's going to find a second. What is that player doing? See Chicago. They should be breaking 200 points here on this first rotation. They're absolutely frying here in map one. Again, what? All these players on the side of 29 Esports not having a great game. I can't really highlight anyone over there. All of them are double neg or worse here on the map. This is a solid map one here from Chicago. We see Manny finally pick up his second death here in this map. You see 29 get on into the hill for the time being. Chicago's going to rotate out towards P1. I was kidding. I, to be honest, you may not be. I would never know. 
We're seeing a white man a drop yet again. He's 17 and 7 here on the map. Orcus is 21 and 9. I'm trying to switch it on over to him. It's not allowing me to. He's going to pick up the scrap time with his teammate over there. They're going to eclipse a 200 points here in this first rotation. This is a pretty solid map one here from Chicago. They're not giving an inch. Should be seeing Orcus rotate back out towards mid and possibly out towards this P1 hill. He's going to find a few shots there on the players out towards Rux, his teammates, and Brutal and Audacity will have to find these kills. Brutal on four in a row, 11 and five here on the map. Audacity found it too. This hill being contested right now. Brutal is going to drop. So we will be seeing 29 get on into the hill for the time being. B Will's going to get a nade there onto Orcus. B Will's now on five in a row. He's starting to pick it up here a little bit. 11 and 16 now on the map. We found a three piece in that hill as well. 29 esports starting to now find kills here on the map. B Wells finds another one right there. Square headed MF, you know, or Mother Effer, you know how it goes. Finding a kill there in the hill as well. He's 8 and 23 on the map. Pat 8 and 18. We are seeing Vodka at 5 and 13. Tequila at 9 and 16. Now, again, not a great game from any of these players. B Wells only player double digits for his team. We're seeing a Brutal posted up in this hill. He's going to be sliding out Kraus. We're seeing this initial hill time here go to Chicago. They could close it out here. Only 40 points needed for them. Brutal finds one out towards Sandbag. And I believe with where these players from the side of 29 are spawning, it's going to be hard for them to even contest this hill. We should be seeing a map one win here to the side of Chicago as they absolutely fry. Now 15 points away from winning this map. These players on the side of 29 have to get in right away. They're going to do so. Audacity finds one in the hill. He's got two more to work with. Finds the second, I do believe. Actually, White Man does find that kill. He's 26 and 11 here on this map. He finds four in a row. It's not letting me switch on over to him. Eight more seconds now. Leaded here for the side of Chicago Pats. AFK now, as you know, his team lost this map. We will be seeing Chicago win that 250 to, what, 73 here on this map. One. Not even close. That game too easy for Chicago. Let's get, it did look kind of easy. I'm not gonna lie either. Got 26 people in here. What's good, chat? All right. I believe someone did drop a follow as well. Deffy, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You're capping, right? Next chat. Okay, I need to figure out what time this emergence game starts up. Ah. I crew out of my DMs. Oh, I'm on you right now. Another Eastern, so that will be 10 on my time. Ditch this and come cast our playoff match in 15. Uh, playoff match for what?
Oh shit, that playoff is still going on. I didn't even know that. Alonso, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you. There you go. Oh, let me pull up that bracket, bro. I want to see if that bracket's going to work. U R M N L M N M N M N M N M Let's pull up the bracket and see what's going on with heal. The pub. The mojo's in the. Oh my god, okay, a natural talent. Oh, that was the match I wanted to watch, too. Or cast, actually, but I don't think they changed their time. Are you playing Unreal Nightmare again? Did you guys play them in the first round? They 3 1 you? Oh my god, John. I should probably switch into Alrighty. We're getting on into this next match so apparently they were the best team in the league. Oh no, I thought AS1 was the best team in the league. And yeah, I casted that match, remember? That's part of that caster's curse of yours. John McCoy and Speed, thank you for the follows. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. We're getting this map on our way here shortly. John, if you start that match 15 minutes later, I will cast it. I want to finish up this series and then we can go over and cast that if you're chill with that. I could please switch teams doing this. There's cat or torch in my cache right now. It's been five minutes. Should be an FF. John, if you start 15 minutes late, just let me know. I'll cast that, and I'll, you know, hopefully get to cast that emergence one right after that as well. We'll see. Okay, I taught white man how to play. That's why he's so good. Oh, my God. You can't teach anyone. Oh, my God. Imagine. People are toxic sometimes, guys. All righty, map two now getting underway. Is this going to be another dominating performance here for the side of Chicago? Let's find on out. Got our claw peak here in map two. Seeing a vodka here from the side of 29 esports play out towards mound. He's going to throw a nade right on over. You know, vodka find any of these kills onto these Chicago players. Bod could find one there on two white men. Let's see if he can keep this going here for the side. Oh, 29 Esports. They are down 0-1 in this series. Again, a pretty dominating performance there from the side of Chicago early on in that map one. We're still to the side of 29 Esports here. We are going to be seeing Chicago make their way out towards mid. They're going to make a play out towards this B site now. 
See an Orko slide on across. He's going to pre him up towards the top of this B building. Not able to find that kill just yet, but he's just playing his life, not allowing the players from the side of 29 to gun him. Orcos finds one. He's going to make his way on into this B room now. Should spot one player there. Staircase, he's not able to find that kill. He's going to drop. The bomb is sitting now in that B room. Get to see the side of Chicago find these kills. Brutal finding one kill there on the tequila. Audacity finds one as well. Now 1v1, not able to close out that round. Chicago, or not Chicago, uh, 29 Esports it does win that round one. Alrighty here, Chicago not having the greatest round one there in this map too. But they got plenty of time to bounce on back. They are already up 1-0 here in this series. We're seeing a brutal sniping over this A site for his team. You see Manning's posted up on that A site as well. Let's see if these players from the side, Chicago is shocked. What? Map count, Chicago 1-0. Fireboy, thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. Thank you. We will be seeing Brutal still watching over this A site. Arcos finds two there for his team on the flank. Oh my god, we got Fur back in the chat. What's it good, my guy? Arcos 3 and 1 here on this map. I don't know. Chicago looked pretty good there in that map one. Absolutely fried the side of 29. They are going to win this round at two. It's going to be tied up 1 to 1 now here in map two. Alrighty, we will be seeing it vodka here two and two tequila two and two as well here for the side of 29 esports are going to be able to clutch up here in this next round it's not looking likely as we are seeing chicago make their way out towards this b site manny's two or oh and two here on this map i was about to say two and oh man i'm losing it we're seeing a manny's throw at this stun up towards the top of this b building they're going to start to make their way on into this b room manny's finds that one kill onto that player that bomb is already down Ooh, a nice sniper there from a square headed he finds that kill there onto Manning's in this B room. Twenty nine is godified. <laughs> you been you casting all night? Uh I'm not sure yet, Verb. I know I'm casting another one at eleven EST. I might be picking up Primal's matchup here at ten EST if they're cool with starting about fifteen minutes late. John, let me know again if you do start a little bit late. I'm totally down to cast it. I'm going to finish this series out 100% and then as long as it's a 3 all I'll cast your match there at, what, 10-15 EST if you guys are down. I'll just push back that other match just a little bit because it is a playoff match for you guys there in URM or URNM, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah, Unreal Nightmare. We will be seeing Chicago pick up that second round win now on the board here. Starting up this next round, or right, now let's see if the side of Chicago can buy their third round win in a row. Now they already invited me. Ah, okay, but Oracle's five and one here on the map. We got a lot of league matches coming up. Ooh, hit me up on Twitter with times, brother. Hit me up with times tonight so I can get that shit written down before these guys hit me up all the time, you know? 
Been having a lot of teams hit me up recently. It's kind of crazy. I like it though. <laughs> we see an Oracle's drop in the back as B wills. It does watch that flank. Manny's finds one. It's going to be a 4 3 advantage here to the side of Chicago. Dasty just playing towards Outer Trends. He's 6 0 here on this map. How's he 6 0 and they've lost a round? Oh, he must have stayed up there in the first round. Manny's does find one there, so that's now going to be a 3v3. Or make that a 3v2, I should be saying, to the side of Chicago. Pat finds one there on to Manny's. He's 3 and 4. You're really seeing him a drop. B. Wills finds one on to Audacity. We're seeing it brutal with the sniper in hand. He's in a 1v1 against B. Wills. Let's see if he can clutch on up. He spots this player. He's going to pull out the pistol. Tries to gun him. Will not be able to. we got to play Derb this week. Tell them to just FF. I, I can't do that. You know, Derb's going to want to play you, brother. So, you know, can't. Oh, I love to cast that, though. I can roast both of you guys. Oh my god, the guy didn't even know he was playing there tonight. That is hilarious. Alright, anyways, we got a 2-2 map here in the map. Let's see. We did see Chicago win that map one in a pretty easy fashion there. Like, they absolutely fried the side of 29 in that map one. Not doing the greatest so far here in map two as they are, are down now in man advantage here at the start of round five. Tied up 2-2 two two here in this map. Budka finds one there on to Audacity. White men can jump. Finds one as well. He's going to have a second gunfight here coming up on a pat. This player should be pushing on through this door here shortly. Gonna find that kill. And now 3v3. Like the match you just casted for. Oh my god. <laughs> he finds another. He's now on three in a row here in this round. It's going to be a 3 2 advantage now to the side of Chicago. Almost as bad as Grand Final. Oh, <laughs> Burp! Burp! Oh, you had to do him like that? <laughs> Big boss finds one kill there on the Manny. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a 2v2 now here in this round. The bomb did get planted here from the side of Chicago. <laughs> Goddamn, Burb, that is toxic. <laughs> B. Wills finds another. That's going to be another round win here on the board for 29 Esport. Ooh, what did I just do? Good stuff, Aaron. They are in that round from 29 Esports. It got a little bit interesting there as we did see white men can jump by in three in a row. He ends up dropping there, and that will be our again a round win here to 29 Esports. They find their third round win. We lost the hard point by 100. That wasn't too bad, John, in all honesty. I thought it was 90, though. Isn't it 90? I swore it was 90. I'll tell you, you guys got 163 if I thought I'm thinking correctly. I don't even know. Put it close to halfway through. You played it close. I was, what, what, for the first three hills, I think. Then P4 and P5 popped, and it kind of started getting out of hand. We will be seeing Audacity here, 6-2 and two on the map for Chicago. They're down 2-3 to three here in map 2. Let's just see what Audacity can do out towards the front. He's going to spot one player there. His teammate actually does pick up that kill. He spots that player up towards top. Blue, I believe. He's just going to play his life now. Backing on. Nope, can't even lie. We had Nyers in the Dom. That was for $600. <laughs> guys played that entire second half there with literally some of the weirdest guns. We had Dax sniping right away. In that round, in that round two of that Dom as well, that was you know insane. We will be seeing a square headed find one as well, so that will be a three two advantage here for 29 esports in this round. See if they can keep this going here again. 
they are up three to two in this map already as well. And now a 2v2 as Manny's finds one. This player in square headed spot him cross towards the back. Both these players are hearing each other. You will be seeing a square headed find that kill there on a Manny's. Orcos is diffusing the bomb for the time being. Is he going to be able to get this off? It's looking like he's going to be able to. <laughs> and he does. This player doesn't even check the bomb. <laughs> oh my god. I'd be living if I was on the side of 29 esports right now. Chicago does tie this map up three to three. And this is the second matchup here tonight. We will be at least casting one more, possibly another. I'm not quite sure if Team Primal is starting up or not. But let me know, John. If you don't, I'll totally grab that match. I had both Team Primal and Primal GG hit me up for their losers bracket matches. That is awesome. We're seeing a vodka three and six here on the map. I'm not gonna spot anything help towards A. As we do see Chicago hitting this B site yet again. Audacity almost gets taken down there in L. Tries to find some shots there onto some players in. Yo, Ninja. Hello, nah, just wanted us to be somewhat respectable. We're always seeing it be wheels pick up a kill there onto Audacity. It's going to be a 4 3 advantage here to the side of 29 Esports. Orcos finds one. He's 9 and 3 here on this map. I don't know. No, I just wanted to make it somewhat respectable. <laughs> oh, I love to see that in the chat. Y'all are chilling. Not talking no shit. You'll love to see that. Brutal finds one there onto B wheels. They are going to make their way out towards this A site now. Should be seeing this bomb go down here shortly over towards A. Brutal trying to make his way through Broken while staying alive. He's going to throw a nade out towards Vin. Not going to hit anything with that most likely. And he does not. We should be seeing this bomb go down. A Brutal going to watch over his teammate. Player in Broken. It could cause some havoc here. And there's 36 and all map count for the league. If y'all would have taken a map off us, yo, would <laughs> your vibes would have been killed. Pat found two of those kills there. That's going to be the fourth round win now on the board for 29 Esports. I've been so shocked. <laughs> Great stuff there from 29 Esports in this round. They clutch on up. They take a 4-3 advantage now here in map 2. Kids are nervous not checking the bomb. I'll say that they defuse it. They do get that defuse off. It's gonna be a 4-3 lead here for 29 E Sport. Pretty solid map two from both of these teams as they are finding the kills when they need to. You'll love to see that. We're gonna be seeing a brutal four and five on the map. Arcos nine and four. He's doing a great job there for the side of Chicago. Needs a little bit of help there from Manny. She's 4 and 7 here on this map. We'll be seeing 29 Esports having a pretty decent game from everyone outside of Vodka, really, on their team, who's 4 and 7 as well. They do have the lead, so that's all that matters for them here for the time being. Everyone in the chat. <laughs> oh, you'll love to see the sportsmanship. Hitting limit for hitting off. Oh my god, bro. That shit was annoying last night. <laughs> Gonna be three down here for the side of Chicago early on in this round. Can Audacity and Arcos find some kills here and bring this, you know, a little bit closer? The 29 Esports maybe clutch up here in this map. Who knows? Arcos finds one. We're really seeing him spot the second player here on the B Wills. Not able to find this kill just yet. Audacity does find two. Arcos does drop. Audacity now in a 1v2. He finds a third. Can he find this fourth here on the Pat? Who is over towards their heady? He might be able to get this diffuse off. He's super close. He hops off it. Runs out of ammo. He's still got a chance here in this round. He's going to chow this player. Finds that kill. That's going to be a 2v5 clutch here for Chicago and a tied up map at 4-4. Four to four. Oh, 100% there, Verb. 100%. John, let me know how your series goes too, bro. 
kind of names are these? I don't even know, Verb. We got some weird ones here. Square. <laughs> we'll be seeing a white man can jump, push out towards mid here with the teammates. Again, another B hit for the side of Chicago. They're going to start making their way out towards outer here. Avoiding the nades is white man who's 4 and 7 here on the map. He's got to step it up just a little bit. Audacity and Arcos both dropping 10 kills a piece here. We will be seeing. Let's go. Oh, okay, okay, Connor. We'd love to see that. Arcos that does drop there. The numbers again to the side of 29. They find two kills here in this round. No way they clutched that. They just did though. They did though. We're seeing, I believe, white men can jump, find one kill there on the square head. It's going to be hand still numbers to the side of 29, a 4 3 advantage here in this map. They're going to find another kill, or I should say this round, not this map. We will be seeing it be Willis here playing out towards mid. We do see Audacity and white men can jump out towards a B or this B and a blue building here. And they find these kills. They're playing it way too patient, in my opinion. 20 seconds on left in this round. The time is against them. This should be a round win here for 29 Esports. Audacity finding five in a row now. Finding four in that last round. He's going to drop. This will be a 5-4 lead here to the side of 29 Esports. Chicago down by a round. Yo, John, low-key, I'll join in after map one if you guys let me know what the uh, result is for that. Can cast those last two maps or three? If that works, John, let me know. Should be five three. The game should be over, honestly. Game should be over, but twenty nine it does drop that one round due to a ninja defuse. Vodka 5 and 9 here on the map. He's going to be playing out towards God Heady. Let's see if we can find a kill here onto this A side as Manning is pushed up onto that bomb. We'll be seeing Vodka get some shots down on the Manning. He's not able to finish that kill off. White Man can jump. Finds one there on the B. Will square headed. Finds one of his own. It's not going to be a 4 before here in this round. Let's see if they can find these kills and possibly, you know, force of round 11 here. How close was the hard point? It was not close at all. It was like a 250-76 win for Chicago. 73, actually. 250-73. Man, he's just playing on this A-bomb. Still Audacity 11-5. We do see Arcos 11-6 now as he found another kill. 4-3 advantage here to the side of Chicago. So looking like we should be seeing the likes of Chicago win this next round. We should be seeing a round 11 as long as Arcos finds that kill. And I spoke too soon. Now at 2v2, 18 seconds to work with here for 29 esports. One player is pushed up on a bomb. Manny's picks up those kills. It will go to round 11 now. This could come back to bite them in the butt. Verb. Yes, there's a stream delay. 30 second delay. Yeah, they need this SD bad. No, they need the SD. I don't even know about the Dom there, brother. We will be seeing a B hit here for the first time from 29 Esports. What can they do here on rotation? Takeda finds one there on the Arcos. It's going to be early numbers to the side of 29 Esports. Yep, 30 second delay too for you guys who do not know. I don't know if I said that already, but yeah. We'll be seeing a Manny's find a one there on to Tequila. They're going to be pushing out towards this mid map. We'll be seeing a square head to get some shots down on the Brutal. It's going to be a 4v4 here in the Tromic. That a 3v3. The numbers going to the side of 29 Esports now as they do have this 3v2 in advantage. That has the bomb in hand. B Wills finds another killer. It's now going to be a 1v3 here for Audacity. I mean, here's my thought here on... S and D. 30 seconds. If you're given a call out from a stream snipe, you're just giving false info. That's my thought. Because, I mean, by the time you see it, not, not a lot's happening, you know. Like, the round's either over or you're just giving false info to your teammates. 
like respawn it don't matter i mean if you're trying to watch a, a stream and respawn it's gonna be really hard to do that no way gets the three piece there at the end snaps onto that last player and wins the map here for chicago that's a 2-0 lead No, I used to have it on 20. Back when I was casting AEG, you're right about the 20 back then. I changed it to 30, though, because people were complaining about it. But, yeah, with, with SND, I, I think after 30 seconds, there's really not a lot of info you're going to be able to relay to your teammates that's accurate. That's just my thought, at least. All right, I'm gonna grab something to drink quick. I'll be back, guys. God, the chat going off. You'll love to see that. I mean, even with seeing breakoffs, you might have a general idea of where they're going. But again, at that point, plays could be made unless everyone's playing super slow. You know, I get what you're saying, though, with breakoffs. That's just my thought, though, when it comes to that. Like, yeah, 20 seconds wasn't really that much. 15 wasn't much either. I think it's just a matter of how you look at it. Like 30 seconds might help with breakoffs, but at that point, though, you're already down in numbers. Players move around a lot. Again, I think you just get false info out at that point. All right, John, let me know. Again, I can cast maps like two through four or whatever. If you want to hop in map two, you can. But up to you. Yeah, I'm down. I was saying that earlier on. I don't know if you're in the stream, but I'm 100% down to do that. Invite here to this and next. Oh, yeah, I'm going to finish the dom 100%. Now, I do agree with you 20 seconds is not enough. I agree with you 100% there, though. I think 30 is just, you know, in the middle. It could be, you know, 40. 40 would probably be more preferable for you guys. 40 to a minute. I just think, like, 30 seconds, like you said, it's better to interact with your chat, which is always nice. Don't be nervous, you're not playing me anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Just way down an invite here. All right, Bat John, best of luck, brother. Get that dub. Oh, dude, if we get, you know, four more viewers in here, we're keeping up with accuracy, guys. Let's go. We're only at 27 right now. You'll love to see that. On Lamar, you got to get more viewers than that, bro. All right, I do believe I heard a few people drop follow here on the stream astra thank you for the follow i appreciate that i believe you dropped that at the start of that snd i did not get that and a adrenaline i almost said adrian adrenaline thank you for the follow as well i appreciate it thank you thank you wow, that's a lot of follows here in the last hour love to see that i'd love to see that all right waiting on an invite now can you guys quick torch on my cash dom is max 10 minutes uh Ten and a half with you know kill cam and loading time per round.
Yeah, I'm gonna hop into their series during map two. Whoa, that pack looks dope, the freedom one. Alright, load up this lobby, let's get this underway. I gotta make sure I, you know, get to that primal matchup. There should be a 3 0 here to the side of Chicago. They're absolutely crying right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me know when it's a <laughs> when it's a mathematical bro. Okay, here's all I gotta say, bro. When it comes to mathematically impossible, I am the worst at predicting that. Can these guys switch teams? It's been five minutes. That should be enough, though. Just saying. Chicago on co if I'm not mistaken. Got more viewers than Gorgo right now too? Sheesh. I was on 20 seconds a few nights, or not a few nights ago, a few weeks ago for AEG. I switched it over to 30 after that because I believe I had like two, oh, who was it? I think Hobbit was one player that complained about it and then Andrew Crook, I believe, had something to say about the delay, so I just upped it. When you clip the 1v3, you could go back from it if you want. I believe someone did clip it, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go, team that Manny is on. Love to hear that. <laughs> Domestic Cohen, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Let me get this underway, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One plague dash five seconds. Well, I, I know that. <laughs> I know that. Trust. You can get 36 points in a minute with the three cap. Chicago wind. At <laughs> Let them know. Holy ho. Holy ho. <laughs> Y'all are freaking goaded in the chat. That's all I gotta say. Y'all are effing goats. I think I might have been on 30 when he complained about it, though. I, I don't even remember, to be honest with you. It was still a decent delay. And they got smoked in the search. There, there's no way they were stream sniping. All right, map three now underway. 2 I'll lead here to Chicago. We will be starting off with a Brutal here from the side of Chicago. They do start off on this bad side again. A flag here on this map will be that preferable side. If you get this A, B setup, should be good. He's actually not that bad, honestly. He just doesn't have a good team. Brutal's going to find a one there. I would love to see, like, Reform to actually get on a pretty solid team. It's fun casting them. I believe they... Did they win the last AEG tournament? Or Cosmic? I don't remember. 
We're seeing a white man that can uh, jump the drop there. We'll be seeing uh, Manny's 0-1 here on the map. Let's see if we can find a kill out towards this B flag. Neither team able to gain control of this B flag just yet. Chicago with the one point advantage. Manny's going to find a one. Can we find a second here? And Locker's not able to do so. And Manny played Fortnite tournaments back in the day. I was this hard kid. <laughs> we will be seeing white man at premium out towards P3. He's not going to be able to spot anything through the smoke. It's going to be nearly impossible to th see through smoke. Let's have a thermal which You can't run. <laughs> Gain a positive 12 for two flag. Basically 24 points. The other team gets 12, is what you're saying there. Chicago's going to get control of C. They neutralize A. They get control of B. So they're going to start to build on their lead here. They are going to get control of this. Oh, they're starting to lose control of that C flag now. Are they able to get out towards A and gain control of that? It's looking like they will be able to do so. Lucky to be training him out towards boxes. Only, oh, I don't even think he found one. I believe Square Headed found that kill. We will be seeing this A flag. Most likely switch hands here shortly as that last kill now comes in. As White Man can jump, finds that kill. He's going to get control of A. We're seeing a nearly neutral game here. We're seeing Arcos fly on through. He finds one. What am I watching there? Arcos, what are you doing, my guy? I'm not supposed to choke shots like that. Come on now, bro. Seeing a Manny here posted up towards P3. He's not going to be able to spot any of these players as that player is laying down behind that mine cart. Oh, you know, another player I would love to see find a decent team. Cryptic. That dude is nasty with the AR. We're seeing a white man that can jump. He's going to be on five in a row. He's six and one here. Audacity five and three. This B flag now going to the side of Chicago Wind. I had to pick five players from the Ant team to watch as an AR. After last night, 100%, it'd be Uverb, Cryptic, uh, Reverts. I already lost track of what I was saying. I mean, the Carnage AR, I forget. Is that Nightmare, I believe, as their AR? 250, 123. Oh, you're smoking them, bro. It's going to start map two. Okay, sounds good. Probably just going to stick with this series. We might hop into map 3 later on. These guys torched my cash here before the start of this match. We're seeing at 29 esports up by 2 points here early on. And Chicago closed this out in 3-0 fashion. They got lucky there in that map 2 with the 1v3 there from, I believe, Audacity. Who absolutely smoked that last player, if you guys do not remember. Man, you guys tried them in that map 1. You guys got smoked by them earlier on in the week. Or, yeah, early on in the week. Last week or something. I don't even know anymore. Gonna be five down here from the side of Chicago. And we'll be seeing a brutal find one there on the BOS. I thought he dropped there for a second. Vodka finding two in a row now. He's five and two on the map. Square headed seven and eight on the map. He's playing pretty decent here in this map, too. They're up by eight points here. Again, they did start off on good side. You need to see the likes of Chicago get out towards one of these flags and cap it. You wait like six minutes and you get to. Hate when my shot is off. I, I won't want to wait after getting smoked like that in the map for two, so I mean, I don't blame them, honestly. Now, we'll get some of your matches later on in the week for sure, John. We'll be seeing Arsos get onto this B flag with his teammates now. We will be seeing the three in a row. I don't, really don't want to wait after losing best. <laughs> Seeing Arsco's most likely finding a kill here out towards the lockers. He's going to be able to do so. That's now four in a row for him. Seven and eight. We will be seeing Chicago get back on into this. Down by ten points. They did start off on bad side, so it's not the worst first half. Not able to gain control of A for very long here in this first half. We will be seeing Tequila trade that on out now on the Arcos. Yeah, let me know if you play any tomorrow, though. Oh, we're going to be seeing a tied game here going into round two. Yeah, if you can let me know the day ahead of time, too, that probably works best. I get quite a few people hitting me up now, like the day before or early on in the day for a match. I believe you have, an, you have another one in two days, I believe, for that, right? Am I wrong? 
I want 29 to win. <laughs> you want to see a map four between these teams? I don't know about that. Chicago is going to have good side here to start. Whiteman's going to be pushing out towards the C flag. Should be seeing him make a play out towards a C, as we did see, you know, the likes of Indy Kingsman do yesterday here on this map when they absolutely fried. <laughs> oh my god, you're toxic there, Bert. <laughs> I'm talking to this guy, these guys in the chat were talking their shit, saying Chicago the best. God, Tequila's 11 and 12 here on the map. Chicago's playing pretty good. That's all I'm saying. This is a VNM matchup, John. So, you know, you could be facing them at some point in the playoffs if you make it that far. The Wills, a 9 and 15. We do see Vodka, 5 and 5. Square headed, a 10 and a 13. John, who's all in your pool for VNM? We will be seeing B. Wills now up with his teammates in Tequila and a Pat. Seeing, oh, he did not find that kill. Okay. I don't even know what to really say. This game isn't really close here. We do see Chicago up by a few points here. I'm too busy reading the chat. I just got to focus here on this map. We will be seeing Audacity 13 and 11 here on this map. White men can jump 18 and 6 on the map. The dude is absolutely frying here in the map. Three, he's on three in a row. We see his teammate and Manny's now hit a four in a row. He's seven and a seven. We will be seeing... A Almost the whole side of Chicago on streaks. Nine, make that, what, 14 in a row now? Make that 15 in a row before it drop in there. Actually, it would have been 16 in a row there for the side of Chicago. They are starting to pull away here in this map. We will be seeing Manny still on four in a row. He's going to be making his way out towards this A flag. He's going to have one gunfight coming up here on two. I believe it was Tequila. He's going to drop regardless because B Wills does pick up that kill. Great stuff there from Chicago, or not Chicago, uh, 29 East Forster break on through towards that A flag and then get themselves right back on into this map. Yeah, they are so bad. They are up to, oh yeah, 29 is going to be a type of type of I don't know if we picked up the logic is this blue spot. You'll be seeing Tequila find another one out towards Lackers. Oh, oh, Verb. The best NA team. What do you think about that, brother? B Wills, 14 and 19 here on the map. Vodka, 6 and 9. Square headed, 13 and 17 here on the map. 2090 Sports has to start getting some time here. Well, not some time, some points here on the board as they are down by 20 points. They're starting to get a two cap off. They did decap C as well. This is a doable for them. They're starting to get some more points here on the map. Only down by 20 points now. After being down by 25, they get two flags in their possession. They don't allow the side of Chicago to, you know, have that C flag in their possession for, you know, a good 10 to 15 seconds, giving them a few more points there. Square head is going to be pushed out onto this A flag. We will be seeing Chicago make their way out onto the A flag as well. Arcos is 16 and 14. Arpool is Abyss, Bash, Temporal, and... Oh, okay. We got Arco's going to find a second as well. So you have to play. Oh my god, you have to play Derb. Oh, that's going to be a fun one to watch. We will be seeing Arco's 18 and 14 here on the map. Two in a row. He's going to be making his way back out towards this A flag. They have, what, a 23-point lead here for the side of Chicago. They could close this out with this two cap. I do No, they would have to at least get a cap on B. We will be seeing Arco start to neutralize this A flag. Not going to be able to get that off. We should be seeing... A 29 you know bring this game a little bit closer only down by nine points now a minute left to work with they can win this map and he's got to find this kill in the minecart is he even going to check this that's going to be the question here Raymond out towards lockers not able to spot anything tequila playing it patiently here for the side of 29 esports and i hear this player throw a trophy out onto this flag oh my god he just got the perfect time and he's gonna spot two players on this flag not gonna be able to find that second as audacity does turn around and find that kill on him 29 Esports down by 4 points. They have to get back on this B flag. You see Chicago get on this flag. We will be seeing another kill come in. White men can jump 25 and 12 on the map. He's on a 1 in a row. Let's see if he can keep this going here for the side of Chicago. This is looking like it could be a possible Chicago win as they are starting to decap that C flag. 5 points separate these two teams. It looks like Chicago's going to win as 29 Esports ends the game right there. It's going to be a 3-0 there from Chicago.